In today's demonstration, we're going to be taking a look at the contact synchronization capabilities that are included with the Sage Sales Logics web client and Microsoft Outlook. Here in Sales Logics, I've created a ad hoc group of contacts called Sync Sales Logics, and I've set up my preferences to take a look at all the contacts that I've added to that group and synchronize those with the contact records that are in Outlook. So we'll go over to Outlook now, and you can see that those same contacts do exist in here except for one. Larry Sales Guy at XYZ Tool Company was an existing record in my Outlook system, but he doesn't exist in Sales Logics. So all you have to do to cause the synchronization to occur is highlight Larry from the list and add him to a category called Sync Sales Logics. Now when I go ahead and manually run the synchronization, it'll add him to my Sales Logic system. Now I have my preferences set up to go ahead and inform me before it adds or deletes anything uh, through the sync process so that I can check the details to make sure everything is working the way I would have wanted it to. And sure enough, here's Larry ready to be synchronized. I accept that change. And now if we go back into Sales Logics and refresh my Sync Sales Logics group, you can see that down at the bottom, indeed, it has added Larry and XYZ Company into my Sales Logic system and also added him in the Sync Sales Logics group. Now from here on, if I make a change to Larry's record, either in Sales Logics or Outlook, because I have it configured for a two-way sync, it will go ahead and update the other application the next time the sync process runs. Now we'll show it to you in the other direction. We're going to look at my latest contact records and we're going to go ahead and add um, We'll go ahead and add Brian McNulty from Phoenix Computers to Sync Sales Logics. We right click, add him to the Sync Sales Logics group by choosing that. Go to the Sync Sales Logics tab. And sure enough, again, you'll see Brian McNulty down here at Phoenix Computers has been added to that group. We're going to run the synchronization one more time. We're going to look at the details and see that he's about to be added to Outlook now. We'll accept that. Go back into my Outlook contacts. And sure enough, here's Mr. Brian McNulty from Phoenix Computers. He's now in my Outlook contacts. So that's a demonstration of the contact synchronization. It's a standard feature in all sales logic systems, including the web and cloud edition. Thanks for watching.